boss. Oh, 
do to do anything. This is the sixth game for Jeff Saturday's line at the This has been ordered in the last round. Nine seven four. Of course, we go for it on a good one. That's a lot of it's called. So then the musicians showed up. Unless they were working. They ain't performing. They ain't getting paid. They not available. You know? Probably looked like he just went on his own, but this is not. I don't know. A little puddle there. 
So, false start. Offense, number 63. Five yard penalty. First down. Instead, they get the center, Corey Lindsley.
of the NFL brings us to the heart of Texas and the very wonderful AT&T Stadium in Arlington. Today, rivals square off in the NFC East, and we've got a great matchup between the Philadelphia Eagles and the Dallas Cowboys. <laughs> There's the kicker, Jake Elliott, ready to get this one started. And we are underway from AT&T Stadium. From the six. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped it to 23-yard line. They start on the ground with LA. The game's first play. $25 a line guaranteed for three years. The savings that last on the network you want. Verizon. Charles brings up second down. <laughs> Recognizes community members who are working every day with the Cowboys on the board. They keep their community to the NFL on the back. That's about to get it back. Now Prescott. Forced out to his left. Looking left sideline, but it's incomplete. Ah, uh, the quarterback got away with one there. Looked like he was in line for a pick, but instead, it's not harmlessly to the turf. And they'll look to avoid an early three and out here on third and four. The first carry now for Tony Pollard. And he'll be tackled about two yards shy of the line to gain. A one yard pickup leads to fourth down. Prescott to throw on four. Open man lamb. It's complete. And he is going to have the Cowboys first down as they'll get the conversion on a gain of 14. Fourth down, no problem. Just a ho-hum pickup of 14 to keep the offense on the field. Up the middle, here's Elliott. And across the midfield, strike into Eagle territory. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. 
But you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while, because you know me. I want to take that shot early and blow some things up. Right, second down, Elliott once more. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that's going to lead to a third and four coming up. Brandon, that's what you call being manhandled at the point of attack, and I know the offensive line gets a lot of blame for that one. But occasionally, the defense just knows what you're going to do. Maybe they scouted it perfectly. Maybe someone tipped it off. But on that play, it had no chance. Prescott. And this is going to be incomplete. Well, they certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield. But they never did. took the gamble, didn't pay off. And on the opening drive of the afternoon, the defense forces a turnover on downs. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 on their side of midfield at the 47. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Oh, that's in your double team, and it's intercepted. And the Cowboys are going to take possession of the football. Oh, timing is everything on a route like this. He tried to drive that football into a tight spot. And if you're a little early or a little late, chances are there's going to be someone there. And sure enough, this one's going the other way. They'll go with Pollard here on first down. And he'll take it into the end zone for the Cowboy touchdown. Tony Pollard, 22 yards. And the Cowboys use the early turnover to get on the board first here in this one. So the turnover sets it up and then a touchdown run here on the ensuing play. And Brandon, a lot of times you see teams take shots in the passing game on a quick change like this. They go right back and throw one for the end zone. Here they just call a running play looking to get a few yards. But he's able to work his way downfield and take it into the end zone. The end result, the exact same thing as going for it in the passing game. The kick team out there for the Cowboys as they run up to send this one away. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well, and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back. But make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. Hurts throw there, taken in by Smith. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. First down yardage on the first play of the drive, give him 14. Throwing his hurts. Out 
to the left there and complete to the tight end Goddard. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works in past the 50. Dallas Goddard, of course, he'll do well in this stadium. He's got a first down. Nice job, nice patience right there. Put him on the right side, let him work his way across, put the ball in his hands, and let him work his way upfield with a catch. They'll throw on first down with Hertz. That one can break down the field to Smith. And he takes us just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. That one goes for 24 yards. Well, so far, a little to no resistance by the defense on this drive alone. Three passes, three completions, three first downs. They're taking it to him, and it's paying off. Bird sets up to throw it. Oh, that's oh a good He's intercepted. Picked up by Trayvon Diggs. And it's certainly not giving much up to their defense. Mm -hmm. Because for the second time now, that D is going to run back out on the field early after an interception. And remember, on the last drive, the opposing side took it in for six after that interception. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. They've got a 7 nothing lead in the football as well as they start out first and 10. Now the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves it with two to go on second down. Someone's looking fresh in his own line is definitely looking at chops. Everyone likes to run block if you're an offensive lineman. Nice early burst, nice gain too. to Pollard on second down. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. I got this bell boy for all the 11 Deal-Dash.com, the fair and honest bidding site. This KitchenAid mixer sold for less than $26. This iPad sold for less than $43. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Here's Pollard again. Found a little room there as he's up to about the 37. The tackle by Nicole Dean. If you're a coach, you'll absolutely take that run every time on first down because it really sets you up to go in a number of directions here on second. Pollard going to try the right side. And this is going to be a Cowboys first down as he'll get this up to about the 42. I know flashy plays, flashy plays as people like to call them. That attracts a lot of attention. But let's face it, when you're efficient, that can control a ball game. And I love the game plan they've got going right now. Back-to-back five-yard game. Games, didn't force the ball downfield, picked it up on the ground. Yeah, offensive line, they're getting it done. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. You can tell they wanted to get that ball downfield, but they had nothing working in the secondary, so he dropped it off to the running back. That one ended up incomplete. On second down, it's Pollard. Oh my god. He's got some space here. Mm -hmm. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Now always a good first half when you can hit pay dirt twice. And it never hurts to have that good feeling as the game moves on. Just think about halftime. If, it, if that's is all he gets, he'll just sit there at the half and think, all right, two already. I can get some more. I can get some more. And he'll be encouraging his offensive line to create some space. Extra point by Moore. Up and good. And it's now 14 to nothing. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. 
And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The Eagles on the fence set to begin their next drive. As the offense comes out here, Charles, remember they threw the interception last time out, but they were moving the football down the field. Looked like they were going to have a sustained drive that ended in points, but then the pick ensued. And because of that, there's no way you can call the last drive a success. Yes, there are things to build on because they found some play calls at work. Now they've got to build another drive and find a way to avoid the turnover the plague did on the last one. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. So that certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. To throw once more on second and ten. Hurts. Oh, Hurts is going to be hit and taken down to the ground. Two good players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Well, you're already up a couple of scores here in the first half defensively, and Charles, they just seem to be playing really free on that side of the football. I love the observation because with that type of a lead, they feel like they can take a few more chances and be even more aggressive, and it's been paying off for them so far this game. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. So it's third and long, and defensively, not a real surprise there in the dive. Here's Hurts to throw. Pressure gets to him again. Multiple defenders there to drop him for a loss of four. And this offense continues to shoot themselves in the foot. And here, another sack. All game long, we've seen missed assignments, which have led to turnovers, sacks. This group has not played well at all here in the first half. Here's Brent Kern now. And no room for air here as his first punt comes from deep in his own end zone. <laughs> damn say, are you kidding me? He mishit it. And look at this starting field position. That'll be touched out inside the 30 yard line. They'll run left with Pollard. Might have gotten this one down to the 28, and that's all. Credited with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. They go back to Pollard on second down. And he'll take this down just shy of the 25-yard line. They follow up the first down one-yard run with a minimal gain of two. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. They have 
haven't made much of this great starting field position they had. Here's third and six. And they'll send the slot in motion left. Two minutes to play, first half. It's 14 to nothing. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. On third down, it's Pollard. And it's just short. He got six of the seven he needed, so that leaves a decision here on fourth and a yard. They'll run for it with Pollard. And he takes it down to the 10-yard line. It's first and goal after they rip off a solid chunk of yardage in the ground game on a risky fourth down call. I love those plays. Fourth and one. That's who wants it more this time the offense. Yeah, there's a lot of hooting and hollering in there, right? A lot of contact and a lot of collisions as they try and find some space. Who's going to drop their hips, gain leverage, and move the other side backwards? We saw it there for the offense getting it done. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is to stop your linebackers set the edge. They'll go again here from the 10-yard line on second and goal. They're going to run again here with Pollard. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. The tally there, minus two yards, brings up third down. And that's what I'd like to see out of this defense, a little fire, a little toughness. It hasn't been the best first half for them, but they did do a nice job there, forcing a loss on that play. Tough assignment here. Third and goal from the 12. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. A good job there defensively to stop him for a gain of just four, and that'll bring up fourth and goal. This situation in the fourth quarter, you go for it. But here, take the points. If you go for it here and don't get it, you and I are missing our plane, and we're going to the post-game press conference to hear him justify it. Because the next thing we'll see is the owner walking in, announcing a firing. There is no way he goes for it here. Get the field goal. It's the first half of the game. You've got time to make it up. Mar able to put this one through, and that will do it for this first half. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. It's the Eagles ready to see the football first, and they trail here as we resume action in this third quarter. And we will not see a return to start the half as this will be a touchback. When you started selling my products online, I should be this with the Kings Then we found shifts. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. We'll see, Charles, if they had a chance to hit the reset button at halftime. They have not scored. They're facing this big deficit. And if they're going to come back, it's going to have to start right now. Yeah, and for them, it's not dwelling in the negative because, yes, they were totally ineffective in the first half. But we've seen many games that have flipped around in the second half. It all starts with this drive right here. They get something good going, put some points on the board, they begin to have hope. Great coverage there all around. Really didn't have many options to throw the football. Very little chance that that one was going to be completed. Every receiver was locked up. So following the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 25. Thank you. 
Hurts. Looking right side, and that's complete to Watkins. Finding room in midfield, and he'll be hauled down at about the 30-yard line. I don't think there's anyone who could possibly doubt how fast he could run in the open field, but if there were, he silenced those thoughts there. And I'll tell you what, what a bird's eye view I've got here because that was absolutely something else to watch. Not a lot of wiggle in that. That was catch it and go, and to use those wheels of his, that was a devastating effect. On first and ten, it hurts. Again, that's Watkins. And he'll be taken down at about the 22-yard line. Only needing two yards on second down. Hurts a handoff to Sanders. Four yards the pick up, first down. Another modest gain there on that one, and I think, Charles, you can probably pin part of the deficit on a failure on their part to really get this ground game established. Yeah, they've really struggled to be multidimensional in this one, having a partner, because they have to be extremely one-dimensional now if they hope to get back into this game. They'll have to do it by throwing the football and hope to have success through the air. Brooks from there take it in as he's able to find Goddard. And he will reach the eight-yard line before going out. It's a 10-yard gain there, and it sets him up now first of goal. They'll run with Sanders, and they'll get this from the 8 to the 5. Pick up a 3. That's good power football on first and goal. A lot of teams will throw from there, but that's a nice job to trip a few more yards and get yourself closer to the goal line. Once again with Sanders. He gets him a little bit closer. He takes it from the six inside the five to the four. That ground game contained again there, Charles, and that's really a big reason that they're trailing right now. They give a lot of credit to that defensive front. That's exactly what they worked for all week to try and take away the run game, make them one-dimensional in the battle of game plans. Theirs has been superior. They'll look to throw on third and goal toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. So now fourth and goal, and trailing by a decent amount here. What are you doing, Coach Davis? I've got to think to myself, just how many more opportunities am I going to have this close and have this chance? I've got to go for it right here. The clock's dwindling on me. Let's go get it done. The kick by Elliott is good. And they're on the board at least here. It's now 17 to three. So a good drive there to begin quarter number three, but they're only able to shave three points off the lead. Well, something's better than nothing. All right, they didn't play particularly well in the first half, but they definitely need to step on the accelerator now and play a whole lot better. After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. Takes it at the seven. It takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. They'll run with Pollard to begin the drive. And that to the 30. It'll be second down. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Throwing, Prescott. He'll find Lamb, that's complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 
Prescott and Lamb looking up for the Cowboy first. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. They'll send Brown in motion right. Now a give here to Pollard. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. Well, that was one of the few times they've been able to contain him thus far. He's over 100 yards for the game, but he lost a bit off his total on that carry. So their task a little bit more difficult now. Second and 13 that they're walking up on. There's Prescott. Left side to Lamb. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. It's a gain of 35. The tackling in this game has not been good so far. We've seen our share of missed tackles. Case in point, that one right there. And that miss led to another big play. I don't know if it's effort. I don't know if it's technique. But they'll have to work on that in practice. So now then, the big play has them all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. They run straight ahead here with Pollard. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Three quarters have come and gone. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's second and 11. Yeah, it'll be a handoff to Pollard. Down to the 25. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practice for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Able to hit his target land. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. I like that they're staying aggressive on offense because to me, this drive is what is known as a put away drive. You score here, that might put this one to bed. I like the fact that they're playing with confidence and not playing with fear. They'll run with Pollard. They'll get two out of that run, and it's going to bring up a second and goal. Not a whole lot there on first and goal, and that's what you're looking for defensively. You'll certainly live with giving up just a yard or two in this situation. They go back to Pollard on second down. And he'll get it! Touchdown, Cowboys! Tony Pollard, a five-yard touchdown run. And the Cowboys have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter. I've heard you use the term put-away drive, and that right there seems like the definition of a put-away drive. Yeah, it certainly just pops right up out of the book, doesn't it? Because up two scores already, just wanted to possess the football, keep converting and picking up first downs, and if the drive ends in three points, that's terrific. If it ends in a touchdown, fantastic. An extra point by Mar, up and good. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. The kick team out there for the Cowboys as they run up to send this one away. 
This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. And you look at these new scenes from him in terms of progression, and this gives him a chance now on the biggest stage in this sport. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. We said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. And partner, they do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try to hit the reset button starting tomorrow. Good first down, Hurts. And he will go down, a Cowboys sack. Buried by multiple defenders on the drive's first play. We all know he's one of the better quarterbacks in the league, but definitely not today. His team trailed by multiple touchdowns and a late sack. Just a parting gift from the defense for him to take back to the locker room with him. To try again after the sack. Hurts. And he rifles one incomplete. And that's another play that has painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a run that's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops from one side. And an inability to advance the ball from the other. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. He'll drop to throw. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. Smith, the man in motion left. They're going on fourth down with Hurts. And it's incomplete. They could not convert, and they turn it over. The Eagles unable to convert there on fourth. And Dallas, they'll take over in terrific field position. Run for Pollard. Give the tackle to Hassan Reddick. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. On second and nine, Prescott. And he is caught by Lee. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. He's now just three yards shy of 197 yards receiving on the contest and a first down. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Elliott. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Cowboys in possession of the football here as we get you reset. They've got a second and goal now as they look to add a few more points here. And they'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Ezekiel Elliott, a three-yard touchdown run. And the Cowboys. 
does have opened up a four touchdown lead here in the fourth. Extra point by Moore, up and good. And that'll increase their lead to 28. The kick team out there for the Cowboys as they run up to send this one away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. Uh, CD, it's all window dressing at this point. I mean, the best they can do is end the game with a nice drive to maybe build some momentum to move forward into their next contest. Yeah, with how lopsided this game has been, even one score might not do a lot of cosmetic good on the scoreboard, partner, because it's just about looking forward at this point. Get a touchdown here, give yourself some positive momentum and reps to focus on when you get back to play. And Harris is intercepted his third of the game. And the Cowboys are in great shape here as they take over at the 46-yard line. And that one, Charles, is just going to about wrap up what was no doubt a dominating defensive performance. Yeah, I don't care what team it is. I don't care who you play, whether they're strong offensively or not. Just giving up three points in the NFL, that's absolutely a dominant performance and one that they can build on. Well, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. There he goes, left side. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Eagles defense gets a pick six TD. This game's still fairly well in hand, but I think now you, you go conservative, don't you? Go into your shell and just run the football? I think you have to, but you also have to tell your backs, make sure you're really protecting the football because you're going to run into a stacked defensive front, which is why they were throwing the football before, trying to make sure they just have their backs you know, really beat up in that situation. Now, good luck to them. Hurts will throw. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. I know they didn't tack on the two points, but I liked their attempt. After the interception return for a touchdown, I was thinking to myself, forget kicking it, go for two, and they did. Well, yeah, and everybody's scrambling, maybe to catch the defense on their heels. They weren't ready to be out there. Yeah, it's almost like a sudden change, right? There's a turnover, you take it away, they stuck it in the end zone, keep the momentum going. Give credit to the defensive guys for rallying and stopping that two-point attempt. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. Now they are really in the driver's seat here, enjoying this lead late in the fourth quarter. The defense does have all three timeouts, but at this point, it doesn't look like it's going to matter much. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. It's a gain of 13 for number 13, and it gives him a first down. Time to give some credit to the big fellas, the offensive line here, because you've got to have good protection on crossing rounds because you got to give your receiver time to work all the way across the field. That time, be able to scan the field, spot his receiver moving left to right, and make a good, accurate throw. Thank you, guys. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. Now a shotgun handoff to Pollard, and he'll get up to the 43-yard line. Only a gain of a yard, but that's all they needed. I've got an idea. Let's skip Jason to the airport at the end of this game. Let's go to the post-game press conference. I have a feeling that the quarterback of this winning team is going to be giving a whole lot of credit to the running game the offensive line. Yeah. Eagle pressure too much this time. Down he goes. Now whistles and a timeout called here. Not sure of the point of this, but they'll stop it with four seconds to go in the game. 